What's up, guys? Welcome back to the ENG Pot of Thunder featuring your co host, Young Denzel, with my boy, co host. Thank you, brother. What's up? What's popping? What it is? It's G. And if you're listening today, I want to say thank you. And we're sitting here today with Nati. Nati, Rhode Island's finest and the owner of Skin Deep Co. and the influencer behind Monopoly View on Instagram Cha-ching. at the Monopoly View. Cha-ching. Natalia, follow her on Instagram at the Natalia Perez. Follow her, get all those subscribers, get all those likes, and definitely check out the Skin Deep Co. Which our show today is brought to you by the Skin Deep Co. <laughs> and um, like we said, we have the owner here. So um, just so the people who are not familiar with your product, what is the Skin Deep Co.? Can you get a little bit more into you know your product here? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. For I'm sure. excited to be here. I know it's going to be a vibe. Um, so the Skin Deep Co. is basically like a line of creative perfection. Okay, like, okay. Oh, I thought this fucking thing. Do it. <laughs> New mixers. I forgot that fucking one button. <laughs> so the Skin Deep Co. is a line I created uh, for skincare. So it's for before you put your makeup on. It's also for men, women. Um, I got here Selenita, which is an exfoliator. It takes away, you know, all the dirt. Makes your skin nice and smooth. I got the Obsidiana, which is a three clay mask. Gets rid of um, those black heads and those big pores. You know, you want to mi- minimize those. That's the product for you. Um, I get dark circles and puffy eyes. Need this that. is the perfect product for it. Agua that. Marina. And then we got um, Reina de Oro, which is a favorite. Um, it's for dull skin, skin tone, like evens your skin tone. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid, which is really good to hydrate your skin. Um, and then there's the moisturizer, um, Aqua Aura, um, which is smells so good. Also has hyaluronic acid okay. and um, just moisturizes and finishes off the whole entire line. I also got here the uh, quartz roller, which helps contour your face and any pom- like any puffiness that you have on your face will also help with that. And it helps the products get more. Um, how what's the word I'm, I want to use? Mm. We're a little more cohesive together. Yeah, it like um make helps your skin like absorb the product better. Oh, okay. Basically. Yep, I got you. I got we you. have two other um products as well. They're more of devices. We have like a vacuum for your blackheads and we have a three um light LED therapy mask. So you can find that at the Skin Deep Co. or you can visit the website, theskindeepco.com. It has all the ingredients completely natural all natural ingredients which i love so it won't be harsh on anybody's skin anybody can use it yeah so if you're trying to look sexy for your <laughs> for your dates for your date nights you definitely gotta go check out the skin deep co the skin deep co.com yep get hey. that glowing skin Absolutely. or some some skin deep coat for your hoe you know <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the hoe to be a bad bitch for your man <laughs> so, <laughs> so um we're actually here um we're doing a Round table for WWE Elimination Chamber. We're about to put it on, guys. So I'm about to click the play. So if you guys want to watch along with us, we're going to be vibing, talking while Elimination Chamber is back in the background. So we, it is just turned on. So if you guys want to press play, we'll be watching it along with you guys, giving our instant reactions to Elimination Chamber and Saudi Arabia. Okay, so just for the record, I know nothing about WWE. Zero. The only person I know is uh who is it? Orange Cassidy. Oh, that's AEW. Bro, you're in the wrong, wrong podcast, it's, bro. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, bro. That's that's AEW. Well, this is WWE. Is, how is he is he a superstar yet? He's up there. I mean, he's, he's definitely popular. He's a fan he's, favorite. He's f- hilarious. Yeah, he's definitely funny. He's, he's definitely good. So he's not going to be on this? No, no. That's a different, Turn completely different. Up. I don't even want to see it. Then. <laughs> yeah, bro, we're, we're going to lose our followers already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything either. The last time I watched WWE was like when I was a kid, when yeah. like The Rock was on, Steve Austin. Oh, yeah, and, like, that you know, that's when I I watched it. Yeah, know? I mean, it's definitely, uh, definitely different than those times, but it's still definitely pretty good. Where, How do is, you guys, where is this? In Saudi Arabia. How do you guys feel about that? They get a lot of shit because they're in Saudi Arabia. And um, are you guys like familiar with like the whole Saudi Arabia beef? No. So like they don't like, they're like rarely, um, they control like their, their population. Like they control like females th- before. 
It's not like a democracy. Yeah, it's not a democracy yeah. at all. Oh, there. okay. That's so they get a lot of shit because they're like promoting Saudi Arabia, make it seem like it's the best place in the world to go, even oh. though they like control. So they're just like making the it seem like Saudi Arabia is something that it's not. WWE, yeah, but they're getting paid mad money from like the like the kings over there because mm. they want like they they love wrestling, so they paid for them like crazy like millions of dollars to have events in Saudi Arabia. And they're catching a lot of flack for it. I'd uh, do it. You, if you're a WWE, you'd do it. Yeah. If I was in WWE, like if I was a fighter. Well, I mean, you don't have an option at that point. I mean, I guess you do. Have to, well, females, they just let them start wrestling, but the first time they were in Saudi Arabia, they didn't allow females to be on the show at all. It was but just, now they're allowing. Women. Now they're allowing women. So that's actually kind of something positive for women in Saudi Arabia 100%. because now they're having some type of equality. Yeah. So I guess it's something po- like I see it as something positive. Yeah, no, for sure. It's kind of like dated. Do they have to be like covered up more? Than no, that? no. Oh yeah, yeah. They can't wear like uh, like they the, can't wear that. They never do any anymore. That's like old school WWE. Like when you guys were watching. Mm-hmm. Now like the females are actually good wrestlers, but like they can't show any parts of their body though. They have to wear like long sleeves. Okay. May Young was a good wrestler. She was back in the day. Let me get the mic a little closer. Um. Goldberg. Yeah, bro. Oh my god, people are, hate Goldberg. Why? All the fans because everyone's over him. Uh, and they just keep bringing him back. You and hate people him? are like, "You hate him?" I met him once. He's kind of a douche, to be honest. He is massive in real life. Yeah. Massive. But I mean, yeah, I'm over him. I'm definitely over him. This is his last match. He's uh, this is his last contract on mm-hmm. WWE. He said on a Pat McAfee show, he said he only re-sign if uh they let him beat Roman Reigns tonight, which is not going to happen. So, Real- so all these fights are kind of like, they already know the outcome. Yeah, but the, sometimes like Vince changes his mind like right before. Vince does all like the booking, so um, he has the final say, and sometimes he'll change his match like his mind right before the match. Gotcha. So like they know who's gonna win beforehand, but it's still definitely a sport. I mean, that's definitely hard as hell. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some athleticism. Behind yeah, bro. Look, look like, at them, bro. They're they're jacked. The ring mm-hmm. is just plywood. No, not plywood. It's, it's a it's two by fours. What do you with, mean? Like the ring they wrestle on? Yeah. It's two by fours with just like a little bit of like rubber mat, like padding. Oh. oh. So imagine so being getting slammed bumping. on that? Yeah. Um, oh, that probably hurts. Like two by fours? <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. The crazy. entire mat. I, I hit it one time. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. Hard as hell. <laughs> yeah, see, like. Sold out? It's packed. No, right? they they get paid to be there. Like, they those tickets are like free. Wait, like the audience list? Yeah, they made, they're made to go. The oh, they're hell? forced they're to forced go? They're forced to go, yeah. Oh, no, that's just weird. <laughs> like, I don't even have the words for yeah. it. Like, that's why people. That's why they're catching flack for it. Yeah. I mean, they should. It should be brought to the attention of the pop- like of the world. Well, people have. Like, say, like, you guys are into wrestling at all, so you guys have no idea. But, like, yeah. in the wrestling world, it's a huge topic. And what are people saying about it? They're saying, you know, like, WWE's going to do what they're going to do, but these guys, they shouldn't do it. Look at these motherfuckers. Is this supposed to be funny, or is it... No, this is legit. This is their, their, their telecasters. Oh, okay. I thought it was a bit. <laughs> 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 no, I've, I've never seen these fucks before, but... You guys you guys know Roman Reigns, right? That dude right there? To the left? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's The Rock's cousin? I think he's... That's, that's The Rock's cousin? Yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know. Yeah. He's the man right now. Probably the best character in wrestling, like AEW and WWE. Keeping it in the family. Better than Orange Cassidy? Yeah, nah. definitely way better than Orange Cassidy. Do you know who Orange Cassidy is? No. Uh, I put you on. I put you on the screen. The boss. It's the funniest thing in the world. No, it's right. like I could get. Yeah, I could get behind that. Like this is so funny. Let's try to show you a video, Natalia. Like he's. <laughs> he's just so. I think it's hilarious. Hands in his pockets and shit. All right, guys, so I have a topic for you. This is huge in the wrestling world this week. So how you guys would feel, like, apply this to your own, like, work like career. So do you guys know who Cody Rhodes is? Ever heard of him? No. no. So um, his he has a huge wrestling family. He's actually a Goldust's brother. You know who Goldust is? Yeah. That's Goldust's little brother. And, um, I don't know who that is either. <laughs> uh, you had, you said you watched it before. It's like oh, gold, you know, gold, all in gold, right? Yeah, uh, the gold okay. dude. All the gold dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Like, it was yeah, a long yeah, yeah. time ago. Like, sure, nah, sure. I remember like the dust Undertaker. Dust like <laughs> <laughs> this is gold. Dust. You definitely like, know gold. A long dust time is. ago, you know. Remember that weirdo? 
Oh, I remember the weird. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I can remember. It's, so this is kind of weird looking. This is Cody. This is his brother. He looks very familiar. You've definitely seen him before. Yeah, yeah. So um, he was in WWE originally. He was like a mid carder. You know what a mid carder is? So he's basically in the middle of the card wrestler. So he wasn't a main eventer. He wasn't a top guy. He wasn't like The Rock or Stone Cold. He's just like an average dude. He'll win like a belt every now and then. Mm -hmm. But he was never taken serious. And okay. like that's all predetermined like we were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. So like the owner, Vince McMahon, he has the final call on whoever. So like he picks like he the main picks, characters. Yeah, he picks the main characters, who he wants to be good, who he wants to be a joke. And Cody's basically a joke mm -hmm. for like the longest time. And he comes from like a... A big line, like history, like I said, of family members who've been wrestlers. And um, he had enough, so he asked for his release. And um, he left. He did the independent circuit for a while, got his name up. He, um, long story short, he uh, he's actually one of the co-founders of AEW, the other company I was talking about. It's a big company okay. now. And um, I thought it was the same thing. No, nah, yeah, it's two different, two different things. Yeah. And uh, Cody, he was uh, EVP, so executive vice president and um he was there for three years helped launch AEW, and now he's leaving wwe i mean aw to come back to wwe oh. so basically his his first girlfriend treated him like shit he had <laughs> enough he's like fuck you i'm better i have more self-worth than you mm -hmm. left got his name up he has two shows in tbs right now because of aid like his like fame now mm -hmm. he's like, very popular now Got his worth up, EVP of a company. Now he's leaving that to go back to his ex girlfriend. To go back? Yeah, he's going back to the WWE now. Where who treated him like shit originally? To wrestle or to like manage? No, he's not going to be a manager. He's a wrestler. He's definitely going to get paid a good amount of money. Don't get me wrong. He's not going back to be. He could be. That's what everyone's scared about. Because like when he was originally there, he was treated like shit. He had no good storylines. He was a joke. Mm -hmm. Now he's going back to. Are they WWE. giving him a better storyline? That's a, that's what the debate is right now. I mean, like he could, but then he could be a joke in like two seconds. He's not gonna be like The Rock or Stone Cold, where he's gonna be all set. Mm -hmm. He he's, he's gonna get, gonna get paid a lot of money, but he could be terrible. But is it worth the money to be humili like humiliated? That's the question. That's the hundred million dollar question everyone's debating this week. Hmm. Like, go for it. Uh, I don't know. What would you? Sure. How do you feel? Go for it, I guess, right? I mean, if you if you got the skin for it, go for it. And speaking of skin, we're sitting here with the uh, the owner of skin. <laughs> yeah. Had to and throw that make in sure there. you use that. Uh, yeah, you I use go it for every, your hoe. I use it every night, and you should see my skin; it glows. <laughs> Back to the topic. We're starting off our Roman Reigns right now. Roman Reigns and Polly. Wait, he starts off with a fight? Is that what it is? Yeah, I guess we're starting off with the uh, main event. We're starting off with not the main event, but the main event guy. Roman versus Goldberg. So they start fighting right here? No, nah, it's the entrance. Oh. The entrance. So he just comes out, says what's up, and goes back? No, no, no. He's... They go they're the they're ring, about right? to wrestle, yeah. Oh, all right. So, yeah. I thought you meant they're gonna wrestle right there. I'm like, no, they're gonna wrestle right on the stage. No, nah, they don't. They do their little thing and go on the stage, and then they wait for the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're gonna go in the ring and wait for the next one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. I remember that. <laughs> 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 I still didn't even show you Honest Cassidy. Damn, I don't know though. If I was Cody, I wouldn't go back to. I mean, I don't know. I'd go back, but I'd have to be like promise. He's probably like, yeah. It has to be back. some like guarantee. Yeah, like I'm signing a six month deal because if you treat me like shit, I'm leaving. But I know it's not gonna happen. What the fuck is this? Hey. They said <laughs> this is why James Harden asked for a trade at a strip club. He's out there? Probably. He's in Philly now. Philly got some crazy ass strip clubs. That's hilarious. So what's up with you, Natalia? What's in the world of Natalia? What you been? What you been up to? Give us a little background on yourself. Oh my God, who am I? Put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you said you said you were uh, you're doing a little cleanse right now, right? Yeah. Um. By cleanse, I mean I'm not drinking. I'm not smoking weed. I used to smoke weed a lot. It's been a week. You know, I just started. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, not smoking, not drinking. I never really been much of a drinker. Just maybe like you know, college days. Um. But I just decided to just take a break, take a break, take a cleanse. I feel like um, 
alcohol and drugs definitely like cloud your judgment cloud your mind cloud everything yeah you know because mm-hmm. i feel like you're using that as like to suppress something yeah absolutely. rather than facing it mm-hmm. so i just don't want any suppressions i just want to be focused yeah. you know this is like for me right now i think it's time for me to level up on every level mentally emotionally spiritually financially so do you think that was, that was holding that. you back I don't think it was, I, I, I think in a sense. It's hindering you, maybe. Not it's hindering, you I think so, you know. Um, I don't really, I used to go out a lot. I don't go out like I used to either, you know. I just want to be focused on my craft, focused on building what I what I want to build for my future. You, you don't party think, enough, right? That's what you're saying, like you had enough fun, now it's time to like Exactly, like what am I actually, what am I celebrating? What am I partying about, you know, if I'm not exactly where I want to be? Exactly, it's, you need a reason to celebrate. Exactly. People, people come up with reasons. When... You know, when I when I hit my goal, when I hit wherever I want to do, then maybe we can go and celebrate. Right. Yeah. But and what's what's your goal though? Do you think? Cause I think people get sometimes they get lost. I mean, definitely I fall that too. You get lost like in the moment. So you said that you'll wait till you hit your goal, but then at that point when you hit your goal, you're gonna have a new goal, and you're always gonna have a new goal in mind. I think that's just life. Yeah. So like, when do you when are you gonna feel good enough to go out and party and go out and enjoy yourself do you think you're always just going to be saying that as like oh i would go out but i haven't hit my goal yet but you're never gonna hit your goal if you're always trying to get better that's true i think i think what she's trying to say is that like all right she's gonna write down her goals or you know either write them down mentally or like on a piece of paper and then from there all right she's you're just living a different lifestyle you want to you know welcome a different lifestyle you don't want to just be partying and stuff like exactly. that exactly i want to focus time. more on like my health like yeah my physical health, my mental health, like what I'm putting in my body. Mm-hmm. Like, Absolutely. That's yeah. what I want to focus on, like just kind of transitioning that and turning that like more into a lifestyle. And then like if a party comes, like maybe. Yeah. You not know? always yes. It's not always yes. It's just yeah. like that. That'd be like the last thing yeah. on my mind. I'd rather like go travel somewhere. Right, right, right. You know? Or, you know, do something else. Or do something else. Like yeah. go work out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Go meal prep or something i don't meal prep so see that's something, something I should productive do. something yeah. productive i know what you, you mean. know go you, read a book do you have a fomo at all no i used to but i don't have fomo anymore because you're not missing out on anything when you're not getting to what to the bag facts you're literally not missing out on anything on when you're yeah. not getting to the bag yeah you're doing yourself a disservice. you're doing yourself a disservice when you're putting other people before yourself mm-hmm. and that's like in every aspect of life yeah do you think you should do that beforehand? Oh, for sure. I feel like I'm the type of person that like I have such a big heart and I love people that like I'll put their needs and their stuff before mine, before I get to my stuff. Can you come up with an example where you, you've done it and you're like, damn, I definitely shouldn't have done that. I should have put myself first in this, situ- this situation. Mm, not like anything specific. I mean, I feel like mostly like in relationships. Like you put a lot of energy Guys, and effort. The pot of love has returned. <laughs> We're back, baby. Let's get it. Let's, Let's get, get it. Pot of love. She's on the uh. thought side, baby. We're out here. <laughs> Diego's on the side. yeah. Diego's on the lover side. I'm a Pick lover. Pick your side. Oh, fucking motherfucker! I'm, his name. I'm a you, lover. What do you mean? I love. I right, love to love. I encourage people to love. I encourage people to love too. I'm now, not saying any different. We're on the thought side, and G is on the love side. I am side. not on the thought side. I'm on the you want to be a thought? Be a thought. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, true. baby? But I am not on the same team as you. <laughs> <laughs> so you said in relationships, though. So. Where do you think? But a relationship could be any type of relationship. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be with a significant <laughs> other. It ah. literally can be like right, your guys, parent. Sorry, not <laughs> the part of love yet. She's on the right side, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> it could be any relationship. It could be like a familial friend, like or that, a yep. friendship. Like it could be any type of relationship. No, I know what she's. Is what I'm exactly saying. Mean, yeah. Not specifically like romantic, because I also love love guys. So love, love. Love, stop being love. hoes stop leading people on <laughs> um, that's a two-way street though that's a two-way street okay. yeah no for sure yeah. for sure oh you're gonna be one of those people that like no it's just dudes no it's definitely women too 100 oh, percent. yeah it's absolutely. not it's not just men it's also women mostly women but a guy oh goldberg <laughs> he said mostly start. women <laughs> <laughs> girls have a lot of power nowadays it's definitely switched from the you know times of, of old of old it's yeah. because now women have to put in our 
<laughs> women now are expected to do more than they they did in the past like if you think about it back then like we were the wife we didn't have to work mm-hmm. you know the male was supposed to be the provider but now we're providing for ourselves so what exactly are you doing for us what are you bringing to the table hmm? like what are men bringing to the table yeah if mm-hmm. i'm if i can provide for myself yeah and do all this for myself what are you bringing to the table or why should mm. I allow you into my space? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you ask because the same thing, vice versa. But like you said, back in the day, it's naturally a man's in a man's nature to provide. Yeah. So I think now a lot of men are like a little feminine. A lot of men or a lot of men that you're dealing with? No, I'm not dealing with any funny men. But you know, I'm saying men you've came, you've came across romantically. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't have to be come across me myself personally, like romantically. Yeah. You know, well, today's like in today's day. Today's yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Um, that um, yeah, because like I like what I'm saying is that women now are doing things that they didn't do back then. Like what? Um, working like mm-hmm. we, we didn't work before. You know, we couldn't vote before. There's a lot of things that we weren't able to do because we weren't seen as a person. We didn't yeah. have those rights. Mm-hmm. Now we have rights. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that wasn't even that long ago. That was like in what, the 60s, the 50s? Like, it happened. Yeah, you, it's just yeah. happened. You know what I mean? But women are now like go-getters. They're independent. And then when a woman comes off independent, it kind of sometimes throw, throws men off. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. well, now I, I can't really do much for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. I think, But I think at that point, you're, you're also... You but women might... also have to get back to their femininity. Because absolutely. now they're on a masculine energy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. So it's also balanced because everybody has feminine and masculine energy. Right. Yep. As a female, you should have a little bit more feminine energy, right? And a male should have a little bit more masculine energy. But I think now, because of how the dynamics have changed and shifted, women have been hold, playing a very masculine role. And now they're just used to being in that role. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what you mean. So... That's kind of my view take on that. <laughs> hey guys, we got she is the first female guest here. We have an, a completely different topic conversations. Topic of conversation since she's here now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. If I like it. I like it. I like it. No, no, I like it. It I, seems like you're holding back. Uh, don't hold don't back. Be disrespectful. You don't have to. You know like, I, don't okay. don't see it as disrespect. I mean, if it's it, whatever your yeah, thoughts uh, are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. Well, I don't want to because I'm not in any way offending, like trying to offend you or anything like that. But you know, I said bring it. <laughs> now, now, now bring it but it, but it's just i think it's like yeah i agree with you i i completely agree with you and and maybe i distance myself from that circle right so so if a, if a woman comes off you know, you know whatever she could do for herself that i can't do for her good for her i i get that but if i could you know offer something to a woman that i feel like a woman or you know some of these others you know guys can't offer her then you know obviously i'm gonna sh- not showcase that but you know this is me this is, mm-hmm. this is what I bring to the table. And what I bring to the table is, you know, order. Not just like as in like, you know, this is what we're going to do. But it's just like, no, you know, I have my lifestyles and the things I like to do in a certain way, um, I, which I don't believe is like too out of line. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm, this is what I'm like. Yeah, let's have this conversation. Let's discuss. But at the end of the day, it's like, OK, well, I'm living my life the way I want to. Like, are you, you going to like jump on the ride or not? Or like, what are we doing here? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like... So you want to lead? Well, I'm going to lead. Because what that's what yeah, a yeah. masculine does. Exactly. That's what yeah, you yeah. should be doing. Exactly. And if... Yeah. And if and if, <laughs> and if a female thinks like, I'm just going to take the back seat, then, you know, to me, yeah. that's incorrect because I'm still building. Yeah, of like, course. I like a female, you know, get to that point at that, at that time, you know, take a breath. If you want to keep building, you know, keep building. But like, you know... Um, to me, I'm like, I'm, I'm the protagonist of my story. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But like, you know, not to say that they're going to get neglected or anything like that, but like what I'm working on, like what I'm building is like, to me, that's priority. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here looking for love. I'm out here trying to make myself better in every way. Like you were saying, you know, when you, As you're you doing should. your plan. I agree. That, that's what I want to do. I want to find myself in a situation where I'm better financially, you know, physically and, you know, everything's taken care of, like even mentally. Right. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, you know. If you want to come with me, you know, like down this journey, down, like do this, we can do that. But if, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're out here like saying like, oh, I need this done. I need a man who could take care of me and stuff like that. And it's just like, that's not what I go for. Mm-hmm. But 
I'm not saying that you seem like that type, you know? But like, yeah. Like, I need a man that does this, this and that, this and that. It's like, all right, sweetheart, but what are you doing? Oh, you're, you know, you got a, you got a job and stuff like that. That's nice too. That's cute. But if yeah. you don't bring that feminine energy that men are attracted to, I don't think I'm going to get with you just off of status. Yeah. Because that's exact. that's not what it is. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. So I agree. you want a female who is always building herself or do you want a female who has like just a job and she's content with that job? Sorry. Throw me off there. That, that, to me, that's, to me, that's the same person. To me, it, there's no like more or less like between those two females. I want a female who's driven, su- driven. Well, yeah, driven. I want, I need a female to be supportive. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Understanding. And I need her to just be on point too. You know yeah. I mean, that is a feminine. Yeah. A fem- uh, as a, as a female and feminine entry energy, you're supposed to be nurturing, understanding, affectionate. Exactly. But then there's times when a, fem- uh, a female is all those things and then they're taken for granted because they gave all oh, these things. You know what I'm saying? That's the, yeah. Then the, so it's like it has to be with a bad equal, person. equal you know give and take. Yep. You know I, what I'm exactly. I completely agree with you. Yeah. But as an entrepreneur yourself, you must be, I mean, I feel like, you know, see where you're coming from a lot of times where you don't have a lot of spare time Mm -hmm. so your mind must be everywhere project here project here project there how do you think like do you think sometimes you bring that stress from your projects back home and you don't show that femininity all the time do you think that could be a case at times where you don't you're not always nurturing and loving and you you know I mean, there, for yeah. sure, because we're human, you know, we all go through human experiences. We're always dealing with something. And it's really just how you communicate with that, like what you're going through. I mean, I don't agree that you should bring your work home, um, but it is work. It is part of your life. And you, if you need to talk to somebody about it, why, who's better than the person that you're with? Than exactly. Yeah. Who you're with. Mm-hmm. But if I can't talk to you about that. Oh, like, shit. Roman one. Oh. That was quick. <laughs> Fucking choked his ass out. No, but I, I get what you're saying, scared. yeah. What do you say? His bear looks weird? No, the kid looks scared. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, grabbed his, like, brother Oh, fuck, something. Roman. The rock one. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that was quick. Yeah, because yeah. Goldberg can't fucking fight. Oh, but they, yeah. don't want, they don't want him to get hurt. He's had a history of, like, injuring people during matches. Mm-hmm. And Roman's their top guy. So, they don't want Roman to get hurt. Oh, so, they're okay. probably just like, you know what? End it quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because WrestleMania is next month. So, they don't want to get Roman hurt. Yeah, this took a whole different turn. <laughs> Wait, pot of love or pot of wrestling? <laughs> pot of love. <laughs> nah, bro, we're at no, it. both. I'm just like we're talking about that's wrestling, hilarious. and we go to. <laughs> I get no, but but I but I get what you're saying. You want you want something that's that you could like you know take. decompress to. Yeah, I get I think that 100. percent Equal. Yeah. I think what it comes down to equal give and take. Yeah, I mean, I like to give more than I take. To be honest with you. Yeah, I, but that, I'm a giver. I like to be like, yo, you need. Isn't anything. there a like, point where stuff. you give too much though? No, because I'm a giver. I okay. don't think so. I, okay. I think because I'm a giver. So you think that then? Yeah. You think you must be just yeah, because I'm a provider. That's why. That's true. Because you are. There a provider. you go. Because I'm a provider. But that's like, what you are. should you need do. Like, what's going but on? But as a female, sometimes as a woman, you need. You need that. You're yeah. You need you a, you need a provider. You need a leader. But so, if it's equal right, shouldn't she be the provider too? No, <laughs> that's not a... Wait, you, she's not contradicting herself, herself. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, nah, no. nah. I'm just, I'm, I'm joking. But no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there has to be this, there, <laughs> there has to, there has to be this balance established. Yeah. But in the back of your mind, you guys want something else. Example? That's not good. Yeah. You know what? Natalie to... won. You Damn, won. you said my no. name Jeez. wrong. <laughs> she won. How do, how you said you, my you name wrong, G. It's not Natalie. What is it? Natalia? <laughs> yes. But I said it like in an English accent. You said Natalie. That would have E at the end. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah, you're right. Natalia. How do you say it? Natalia, yeah. How do you say it in English? Natalia. Natalia. Oh, my Natalia. sounds not ugly. You're right. My bad. Natalia. I'm sorry. <laughs> in English, it sounds so ugly. Oh shit, Natalia, ew. I, I Natalia, it water. You were sipping. I was about to sip it like it was water. <laughs> so yeah, girls won. Girls rule. Men rule. That's just a, <laughs> this is a bad topic to go down. Nah, I enjoyed that. I, I like hearing your perspective about it. Yeah, I mean, I think what I think, <laughs> but yeah. I don't. I don't. I want to come off as disrespectful either. No, no, I don't think you did. No, 
All right, cool. I would have checked your ass think, if you I did. I don't think I was either. I would have checked your ass right now if you did. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Wait, so have you guys, you guys seen the Kanye Genius? I did, and I loved it. I seen half of it since last time we spoke. Um, how do you guys feel about, I seen this on Twitter a couple of times, and it's true, like, Kanye, that documentary there shows that work, like, isn't validated and so it's like validated by other people. So you could be like a small mom and pop shop mm-hmm. and people are just going to overlook you because like your family, your friends, they're going to ask for discounts. They're not going to pay for what like products you're offering. But if Kanye could be offering that same exact thing that you're doing and people are going to be like, oh my God, it's the best just because Kanye's dropping or Kim or Kylie. Mm-hmm. But like Kanye showed in that video, like that documentary that everyone was rejecting him at first. And now look, like whatever he does is gold. Yeah. So like it's crazy how like like your work and your products is invalidated until like social media or like top record labels like give you that support. Mm-hmm. Like is that I mean I don't know, it's just wild to me like how like Yeah, I mean you guys see where I'm coming from in this in this topic. Yeah, he he when he went into the the like Rockefeller? Yeah, and he played all falls down and no one's paying attention yeah, to him. Yeah, mm-hmm. like laughing and shit like that. Yeah. Girls, like, They're not even paying oh. attention to him. Paying attention yeah. to him and now yeah. it's just like gold. Yeah, it's growing pains. That wrestler was big. The female, she's a- oh Bianca Belair. She was a D one athlete. She cool. did. She did. Um, I forgot what school, but she did uh, track and field, and she did like powerlifting too. Power like she threw weights and stuff. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, she's she's strong as fuck. What did she throw? Um, I guess uh, hammer and shot. Yeah, I think so. Like yeah. 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 She did like the hundred and shit like that too. Yeah, she dates another wrestler actually. Yes, they're doing an elimination chamber. I think this. It's like a Royal Rumble type? Nah, so it's like a best, it's like a steel, steel cage match, kind of. So like MMA? Um, kind of. You like UFC? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like NFL? Just like NFL, right? <laughs> <laughs> Go sports. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Oh, this is UFC tonight. Is it? It's too late, though, man. It's oh, yeah. so late on the East Coast. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, I can't even enjoy them. I'm like half asleep. Yeah, I went to Snooker's once to watch one with my cousin. You guys, we were there till like fucking two o'clock in the morning. Oh, Snooker's is open till that late for the fights? Yeah, dude. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, you talking about the girl on the top right? No, bottom right. Bottom right? Oh no, no, no! I was talking about the chick in the middle left, who's, who's the D one athlete. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh no. Nah. Big bottom right. Yeah, she big. I was like, all right, yeah, she throws. Do drop sure. is her name. What is it? Do drop. Do- stupid ass name. Do drop. Do drop. Yeah. Do drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stupid ass name. What would you be your wrestling name, Natalia? <laughs> you said Natalia Banks. <laughs> Natalia Banks. Yeah. Natalia Banks. How about you, G? What's your me? I don't know, bro. How do you become a wrestler? This I mean, um, they recruit a bunch of different ways. They go after a lot of um, like former D one uh or like D two like former college athletes. Like Roman played uh, college football. The Rock played college football. Mm-hmm. Um, they there's they have NXT. They have like a training center in Orlando now, and they do like um, they do like tryouts now. But that's current age. Before it was like you did independence, you get your name big. That's okay. I guess and now they have like a training facility in Orlando where you can go and try out. Like if you literally if you want to try out, you could. Yeah. Yeah. And then like you'll go to NXT. They'll train you there how they want. Ooh, I know that long hair is heavy as fuck, girl. Yeah, she be smacking <laughs> the fuck out of Ooh, people. Ooh, I know your head be hurting at the end of this. Yeah, you think is that what it is? That shit probably hurts. Yo, they that be, shit's heavy. You be smacking people. That, that shit's, shit's mad loud, heavy. bro. That shit's heavy. Yeah. Yes. That's crazy. You let her smack you in in the bed. What? <laughs> Whip your ass in the bed <laughs> with her hair? Yeah. Hell no. Why not? <laughs> That's just fuck that. Yo, yeah, she wants to be. Nah, nah. She's she taking alpha female. Nah, she's taking that off. Because that comes off, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's taking that <laughs> off. <laughs> she ain't wearing that shit. Wait, that's fake. It got, you think that's real? I don't think that's real. That got to be like what? She, gotta, she had to have grown her hair like since she was out the womb. For it's it to be common that, that it's not real, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not real. Would you rock that? That long ass hair? Yeah. I mean, I, I'll do like a long pony, but that long, no, that shit's heavy. That would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> My long pony be her aunt too. Like after a long night, be like, hey, take this bitch off. Like, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> right, how, how many shots you got to take? 
for take, that. Take this home. Dude, no, nah, I'm blacking out before. <laughs> nah, I'm not I'm not messing with that, bro. Rush, I'm mad picky, bro. I feel like she lost weight, she'd be cute. Like a lot of weight, bro. I don't know, bro. Like Adele type? Yeah. Adele is that was fire ugly. She's right fire now. now. Yeah, I don't think she was ugly. I don't think she was ugly. She's just big, but like, yo, she's fire right now. You think so? She looks great. She does. I'm sad. Yeah. Doesn't she looks have, amazing. She sings so nice. Dude, that she has a beautiful voice. Oh, love Adele. My girl just got me a vinyl. Like an Adele vinyl. Oh, that's fire. It's the best, yeah. That's fire. Her new album? Yeah, the new one, yeah. Nah, I don't even know who's next. Nah, she don't fit in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I just talking shit. She'd fuck you up. <laughs> she did fucking power slam your shit. I don't want to get anywhere near her. And the other girl. See, that's I don't I don't need that type of energy. That's the that's the energy I do not want around me. Like that's masculine energy to me. It's like yo, ew. <laughs> but you know what? I do like watching like oh, female she gets, UFC fights. You like what? She gets female masculine, UFC yo. fights. Masculine vibes. Mm. It's mad good right now. How about this chick, Rhea Ripley? You smash? <laughs> Is she she her? No, nah, she's a she's a, she's, a, she's jacked, bro. Yeah, yeah, she's jacked. Hits the gym like every day. I follow her on Twitter. I hope these people hit the gym every day. They're athletes. You think the other bitch does? Do drop? I'm she. I'm sure there's like some some like athleticism out. She probably deadlifts all the time. No, no, she's athletic though. This this that chick's super athletic. She, yeah, she looks like uh. Yeah, she's the one that did. Looks fit. Yeah. Nah, but nah, I wouldn't do that either. You? Me? I know you would. Hell you would. yeah. I'm trying to get a fucking sugar mama. She's rich. She's like the best one? Um, Nah. <laughs> nah, she is right there. The one with the long hair. You mean like athletic wise? Definitely the chick with the long hair. Bianca Bel- Belair? Belair, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like best overall like promos and stuff. This chick's pretty good. She's like nowhere. Yeah, she's really good. She can talk. She can wrestle. She it's, likes to gimmick down. Natalia, would you ever do that? Like in a different universe? Be a WWE fighter? Yeah. Why not? Bro, you can be a luchador. You're a luchador. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a luchador. What the hell? Well, you're probably going to be. They can put you under a mask. Well, like Rey Mysterio? Yeah. What? He was my favorite. I'm too pretty for he that. Like, <laughs> what? He still wrestles. He wrestles tonight with his son. He I feel disrespected, Efren. <laughs> Bro, that's what they're going to do. They do all like the... Oh, look at her. Look. Damn. Bro, that's sexy. I know mad dudes that can't even do that. <laughs> right. No, nah, but like that's what they do. Like you're, oh, you're Hispanic. Okay, you're a luchador. Or you're, that's so you're discriminating. Black, a hip-hop that's fire gimmick. though. You don't have to sh- like. You can still go out in public and stuff. That's true. Yeah. No, thank you. No. So I, 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 you do I this? get no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. N A T A L I A Ash. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you wearing a cape, huh? Yeah, bro. She's a superhero. She's like uh she's like the Captain America of females. Yeah, or maybe like Flash. <laughs> Butterfly America. <laughs> uh, if you guys had to bet who's winning. Uh, and what's the one in black? What's her name? Uh Bianca Belair. Oh wait, no, in black. Oh, Dewdrop, the big girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's not wearing Oh, right, a real a real Ripley. The jacked one? Her or no, there was pull ups, yeah. Her or um the first girl was Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Yeah. One of one of those two. I think Bianca's gonna win. Watch her win. She she was recently. She looks a so corny. Oh my god, I can't. Mad corny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn guys, you guys don't believe in superheroes? No. I do, but like in movies. <laughs> oh, she's calling her out. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't fight her in the club. You wouldn't? That right? No, first of all, I can't. She's a female. <laughs> I wouldn't fight her. Would you fight anybody in the club? No. No. Women shouldn't fight. I wouldn't fight anybody in the club. No, women don't fight Damn. no more. Would you so, fight? You wouldn't fight someone right now. No. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Someone came and spit in your face. You ain't doing. Okay. Oh, okay. Then that's different. That's different. Them, that's that's that. different. That's the club. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to start a fate, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if a bitch spit on me, then hell yeah, I'm fucking throwing hands. <laughs> yeah. That bitch spit in your face. That's warranted. Don't matter? 
Who? It's black. No one all but black. I'm getting my blue card, so don't fucking play with me. I'm not <laughs> fucking fighting. I'm fucking shooting. <laughs> don't play with me. <laughs> she's, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> she's a little cutie. She's cute. Yeah, Liv, Liv Morgan. She's from Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Mm. You'd fight her, D? I wouldn't fight any of them. <laughs> like, They'll probably beat my ass. <laughs> Why are you guys fighting women? Like, doesn't that cute? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh <laughs> she just <laughs> chomped at her. <laughs> and she's still going. I'd kiss her. I bet you would. <laughs> hey, what up, girl? Oh, okay. This wrestling stuff isn't that bad. What up, girl? <laughs> Why is her hair short and long at the same time? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. I don't know. Just, <laughs> yeah, short hair and long hair. Dibs. Dibs. No, nah, right? I called it. Dibs. Bro. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. When'd you call it? Bro, you weren't paying attention. It <laughs> Dibs looks a bliss. Ah, uh, never mind. No, that's her gimmick. She's cute as hell. She's like an emo type person. She kind of reminds me of um, yeah. Harley Quinn. Oh, yeah, that's what she's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. 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 The, the other girl did uh, Harley Quinn, actually. The one right before. Jersey girl. That was like her previous gimmick. He said of you. <laughs> you? Oh, good. Uh. What would be your gimmick, Natalia? But besides Luchador, what would you, what would you I be? I would not do Luchador. <laughs> <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Second of all, I have no idea. What are the gimmick choices? You can make, you your, make own. your own. I just you make, make my own. own. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be like a hip hop urban gimmick or you're going to be like the typical... Uh, I mean, like a, I'll give you a housemaid. <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of what they would do. It's like a Spanish girl. Does that, that see, that's, Spanish girl? That's Jesus. fucked up. See, that's, that's what they do, up. bro. That's what they see, do. That's what, I would not do Jesus. that. That's humiliating. But that's so what they do. I would absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. not be in. <laughs> absolutely not be in WWE. If they give you two two mil a year, you gotta be a housemaid on TV. You ain't doing it. You're acting. <laughs> Okay. They- <laughs> J Lo did made made in Manhattan. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're acting at the same time. Why do you think Cena's an actor now? The Rock, Stone Cold's in movies. They're acting. She has a swing but in there. It's not like you're doing it for Lord. free. Okay, all right, that's different, I guess. But not Lucha Lord. No, for sure not. But why is it disrespectful? Like, does it? Though. I think it is because it it like just paints those stereotypes. Like, why do I have to be a stereotype? Yeah, if you, why does she have to be a stereotype, bro? I don't know. Athens. Just because I'm Spanish? So what would you be? A hip-hop girl? Or, mm-hmm. or would you be the superhero? You had a choice. Superhero or fucking housemaid or luchador? I guess I'm going to be a housemaid. <laughs> the two mil, why not? <laughs> you cleaning at the house, Natalia? You have to clean. What kind of question is that? No, I'm saying like, <laughs> in a relationship, you're married... Like you're expected, to, you're, you're always doing the cleaning. Everybody cleans. No, I'm no, hiring no, a maid. Solely her. She's just doing. <laughs> you what? Yeah, I'm, I'm a getting a maid. <laughs> oh, no argument there. We getting a maid. <laughs> we getting a chef. <laughs> oh, that'd be ideal. I heard Vince McMahon gets like uh he gets food delivered to him like every two and a half hours from like his assistant. Really? Yeah. He's, they pull up with his meal. Nice. Yeah. Him and Triple H. That'd be sick. Every two and a half hours, someone just pulls up a steak. Yo, someone pulling your hair is mad disrespectful, no? Mm-hmm. Fight? That's Isaac. I'm fucking biting him. I told you. I'm shooting. <laughs> 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 I have pretty good aim, too, so. Oh, yeah? You've been, you've been in the range? Yeah. I've been in the range once. What have you shot so far? Um, Just a uh, 22... A forty-five caliber, yeah. Too. The forty-five, you got a kick, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's because my hands are small, so I have to use the small guns. But. Yeah. Well, I remember I went to the uh, the gun range when I was really young, like the first time I ever shot a weapon, and uh, I shot a shotgun. It's like the first time ever, and they're like, "All right, go." They just give it to me. I was like, "All right," it's like cock it. I'm like, yeah, trying to like struggling. I didn't know what the hell to do. Cocked it, and I was, I just shot it. And it kicked back, hit me in my face. Oh my god, you weren't ready. Busted my lip. I was like, 
Damn. <laughs> Everyone was laughing at me. It was funny. I was like, whatever. <laughs> it was funny. I was like, whatever. I'll take that. I want to learn how to shoot everything, though. Yeah? Yeah. That'd be dope. Yeah, it's, they're not difficult. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Some shit has kick. Some shit doesn't. Mm-hmm. I've never shot a shotgun. Uh-oh. There she is. Do drop, baby. She's just going to sit on her. She big, big. <laughs> typical Ow. big girl move. <laughs> a big person move. And just sit on her. Just kidding. But that would definitely hurt. Doesn't yeah, that has to hurt. She's strong for picking her up though. That's that's even like a Ooh. people don't understand like how hard that is. That's to pick someone up like that. Yeah. Like, bro, can you can you do that? Probably not. Like the people were always talking shit about it. It's like Or like when people catch someone like mid air, that's yeah. fucking nuts. How like, do you, wow, fucking strength you need to do that? Yeah. Yo, how do you um? How do they get let out? Well, when they uh, leave, they can open the door. It's not this is like elimination match. Oh, so one some one by loses. one by one, yeah. It's not. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. This one is. That's why it's literally called the elim- elimination chamber. <laughs> that definitely hurts. That's all steel right there. Oh, they're padding on it now. Never mind. Probably still hurts, though. Mmm. She said... Toma. Oh, there it is. Ooh, I told you. Ooh, pobrecita, que pecado. <laughs> she said, that's not going to be me. Her liver. <laughs> Her liver. <laughs> Gotta hurt. <laughs> that's, yeah, no. Nah. They're probably like some internal bleeding. Some spleen. Oh, uh, something, something's burst, yeah. You don't even need to act for that. Cause that definitely fucking hurt. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, bro. She's into kink. <laughs> she likes to get choked at nighttime, that's for sure. Which one? The one the red. She's like, keep doing it. I can see that. What is that? She just ran to the ring pose. Oh, Five, so it's time. Eight, they get let seven, six. Oh, you mean the the chambers? I think you meant like how do you get out the entire cage? Nah, I'm thinking the last person who gets let let out is like then I got the advantage. Yeah, yeah, because oh my baby girl. Can we pause real quick? <laughs> I need to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> oh yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, we'll do our we'll do our uh, our ads sponsorship. All right, All right guys, this. This pod is sponsored by Explore with F E X P L R E with F on Instagram um, and on TikTok. Don't have one post yet, but I'm there. Twitter and that's it. And we're also sponsored by The Skin Deep Co on Instagram at The Skin Deep Co on Instagram. Follow Natalia, give her all that all that love, support, and uh. Let her know how it is, because like we said earlier, those powder products are fire. If you want to uh, be a bad bitch for your man, that's how I got you. Exactly. And if you want your face to look clean, men, I suggest you use it too. I use it all the time. This stuff works like a charm. I'm telling you right now, I had dark, cir- I had dark circles around my eyes, a little bit blemishing and stuff like that, but it went away as soon as I started using this. Natalia, thank you so much. You're the best for recommending this. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and we're we uh we'll be back. Thank you for tuning in to this pod of Thunder. Preach you guys, like, subscribe, and give us all that love and support and let us know how you like it. If you want to be in the pod, reach out to FBI's Instagram or EG Pod of Thunder on Instagram. Or you can send an email, which is in all of our all my links on the Instagram. Thank you for coming in. We'll talk later. You're